Today it's time to get back to the MGTC with the seized up motor. And I have decided how I'm going to try first to get this motor unseized. And the winner is white distilled vinegar. This has an acid content of 5%. I've chosen this to try because I've always been curious about this. I've heard a lot of people freeing up things with vinegar and it is also very good at removing rust apparently. This was also my choice for this video because this is something that everyone might have sitting around. But before I can put this in, I need to make sure to drain any of the oil out of the cylinders that was previously put inside the engine. I'm going to use my Mighty Vac pump to get all the fluid out of the cylinders. That's the one that had all that oil sitting in there. So a little bit there. Now I'm going to put in the vinegar. I'm going to put more in this cylinder that was holding fluid than I did in the others. Now I'll let it sit. I don't know how long I'm going to let this sit for, but when I get back to this car, I'll let you know how long it's been. I think the vinegar has been sitting in the engine for four days now. You can see it has turned brown. It's definitely picking stuff up. On these cylinders that were not filled up all the way, once I get this out of here, maybe we can see the difference of the level where the vinegar was and where it wasn't. If it did clean it up real good, we should be able to see how much. There's the one that I filled completely up. Not as much in this rear one. I'm going to get all this sucked out now. We'll put the borescope in and see what it looks like. Now let's look in there with the boroscope. So we'll go into cylinder one first. It does look like it has cleaned up the top of the piston pretty well. It looks very clean in here. If we come down, look back up. I think that might be the height difference. You see the black stuff here on the top of the cylinder. I think below that is where the vinegar was. I really clean this up. It is very clean in here now. Let's go to cylinder two. Oh yeah, here in cylinder two, we can really see the difference. This one I did not put as much vinegar in. Look at the difference in the cylinder wall there. The vinegar really did the part of cleaning up the rust on the cylinders. So I wonder if we can touch some of this stuff. Yeah, that's not a solid. The stuff on the walls is just the stuff that was floating around in the vinegar. The walls are pretty clean. Now we'll go into the one that I filled completely. We see all the sludge coming down the sides of the walls. Let's see if we can go in and look back up. Okay, there we're able to look back up. That is the cable for my scope. 
then if we rotate this around, We can see one of the valves there, and you can see how dirty that is. And cylinder number four. This is the one that I put the least amount of vinegar in. We can see the difference is way down here, just above the piston. Just that little area right there is where the vinegar was sitting, and the rest of it is still very dirty. I'm going to spray in some PB Blaster just to give the fresh metal some rust protection. Now I wanna push the MG outside and see if the traction between the ground and the rear tires is enough to break that engine free. I have the car in gear. I'm gonna rock it back and forth, see if we can break the engine free. As fourth gear, I didn't have enough power to skid the car myself. The tires are skidding on the ground. It's still not budging. Next thing I'm going to use is heat. And how I'm going to do that is to use my heated power washer. It can go up to 240 degrees. But I'll leave it at about 180. We'll bring the engine up to operating temperature, which is 160 to 200 degrees. And hopefully that thermal expansion and contraction will break those pistons free. One way to bring your engine up to temperatures is with little sternal cans, but that will take a while. I think this will be the fastest and safest option. I'll be using my heat gun to measure the engine. Currently it is at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's get it up closer to 200. I've been heating the engine up for a while now. You can even see the steam coming off of it. I was able to get the power washer nozzle up into the water pump because the hoses are off. And that was actually circulating the hot water through the engine, just like it would if it was running. Let's see what temperature we're up to. 125, 160 up here, 130, 140 on the head. I'm going to give it a couple rocks, but I think I want to heat it up even further than this. We still see the water coming out of the water pump. So now, engine's up to 180 degrees, head 170 degrees. So I think that's pretty good. That is normal operating temperature of this engine. So it's now at a similar temperature as to when it was last running. Let's see if it breaks loose now. The engine is still locked up. It's looking more and more like the engine is gonna to have to be torn down. I'm going to get the cylinders cleaned up and then drain the oil, make sure that there's no water in the engine. Then we'll take a look at the next step after that.
the TC has been sitting for a few weeks now. I had to take my big Texas trip and have to leave it sitting here. I did fill the cylinders completely full with ATF. Hopefully, now when I suck the ATF out of here, it will get all of the crud that the vinegar had knocked loose. So let's drain out the ATF now. If we take a quick look at these before I drain them, the cylinder one and cylinder three seem to be still completely full of ATF. I'm not seeing it on cylinder two or four. Yeah, if I shake the car, I can see the oil in one and three. So maybe cylinder one and three are both stuck. All right, let's take a look inside. Your cylinder number one. Looks pretty clean. Cylinder number two. Yeah, this ATF really cleaned up these cylinders from all that stuff that was hanging on there from the vinegar. Looks to be about the same amount of oil left in both of these cylinders. Number three. These spots must be from different chemicals that were put in there. Maybe from the liquid wrench that I had sprayed in there. And number four. I think I'll give the car one more little push just to see if it breaks loose. Nope, I'm still just getting the tires, so it looks like this engine is going to have to be torn down to free it up. So if that is something that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. And so that you don't miss it, go ahead and click subscribe. I have an extra bottle of the vinegar, so I decided let's do a little experiment. I have this old rusty shear. Let's put this in the vinegar overnight and see what happens with it. Looks like only one side of it is going to be covered, which will be great for showing the difference as to what happens with each side. All right, it's the next day now. Let's take a look at it. You can see some blackened material up here, kind of like how we saw at the top of those cylinders, but the rest of the top doesn't look like it has changed much. See what the underside looks like. Maybe shake it a little. The one thing I did notice when I came into this room, I could smell the vinegar. So it has gotten into the air. See if any of this wipes off. It looks like it is taking the rust off around the edges. But it looks like this vinegar doesn't work that fast. So if you want to try to clean your rust off with vinegar, you're going to have to leave it for a few days. At least with something that was as rusty as this was. Maybe I'll leave the other side in now. Just do some more experimenting with this.